Okay, we're back on the DRV. And <clears throat> we have since installed the new one and a half inch. We did a direct uh, valve wastegate install for the gray water tank and a direct three inch black tank. She already had a three inch with a clear elbow installed, which we haven't touched, but we did weld, ABS weld this three inch plumbing, drain plumbing back together. And initially we were putting in a 72 inch cable actuated valve gate. However, because of the plumbing and the configuration of the plumbing, and the fact that this side over here where you see that washer, the old hardware was so rusty when we took it off, it actually broke the flanges off of the old plastic wastegate valve frame and we weren't able to do another actuated cable so, in lieu of that, we put a direct pull valve gate, and then we welded it back together here. We did a leak test already, however, we're going to do it one more time. There's only one thing left to do, which is very minor. We're going to swap that check valve out, and then we'll screw it back into place. As you can see, there's no longer a liquid waste not there anymore as it's no longer needed. This outdoor shower was leaking. We capped that off actually about two or three weeks ago. Haven't had any leaks there. This was one side. Um, that's kind of what the hardware looked like. And they were all in pretty bad shape. We did notice this direct valve gate in that underneath here right here at the collar flange that a little bit of water was dripping however it does not appear that it's dripping anymore so I don't know what that looks like up there I don't know if it's so rusty that I See, I don't even think I can get anything around that. It's so rusted. I'm going to stop my video and take a photo. <laughs> 